Oh, well, I'm Jane Cole with more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate vs. Battles. In the last best of our videos, we took on some of our Spars videos. Be safe, Shepard. Space Shepard. Like always, I'll just go smash again. We got this. This stock. Because this stock is nice. Let's do a random stage first, I guess. Yeah, just do a normal stage. So, our win last record overall is 81 wins and 124 losses. That's pretty cool. Hopefully we can get above 500, uh, maybe in like 5 and 3, 5 and 2, something like that in this part, or this video. Shit, it's not my part, but yeah, it's just a video. Um, I'll be, uh, we've been not playing it in a while. Um, I don't think I've played as Lucas in a while, so let's say Lucas. And uh, as, as usual, um, 7 for the pre level. Let's get to it. Awesome. Oh, the Mushroom Kingdom, cool. Okay, yeah, this is pretty cool. I have a fight in the car, interesting, yeah. That is my perfect game. I was going hard, he is going hard. Yeah, I like you with my stick. I haven't played Mother 3, but I played Mother 2, aka Earthbound. In the United States, it's called Earthbound. Yeah, but another game, like Japan, I think it's called Mother 2, of course. I haven't played Mother 1. I have Earthbound beginnings for um for my um, SNES Classic, I think. Or no, for my. No, I have it for the uh, NES Virtual Console for um the Wii U. Yeah. It was on the eShop, so I eventually did buy it. And I think the main character is Nintendo. And Earthbound, it's, the main character is obviously NES. And uh, it's Lucas, I believe, yeah. So that's how it goes. It's pretty cool. I should play Mother 3. Uh, the Mother 3 is in Japan only, I think, and you have to have like a ROM or emulator or something to do it. Because uh, I don't know how you get it otherwise. I could be wrong. But, um, and then Mother 2, I have obviously no one to play on, you know, it's bound. On this play, that's like 93 videos. I used Chick Comics Guide, his original 2008 guide for that. It's bound. Now as we make what we do. They made like 2020 or something like that. So, yeah. It's a fun game. I mean, if I go back to playing it, I need a lot. Of, I probably have to reference uh, the guide because, like, none of it really sticks with me. Family, which kind of stinks if you think about it. Get on the pipe. Let's get on the pipe. But, uh, I do want to play Earth by Beginnings eventually. You know, I have it for, uh, like, in the Wii U virtual console for NES. But I just haven't played it yet. And I, it's cool. I, I wonder what Lucas and Nintendo Story, Nintendo Story is it's for those two games, respectively. Because it'd be pretty cool to figure out. Like, like, oh, they do this, no, they do that. Yeah, um, I should play more other games, honestly. I'm sure. gonna play the second one. I like the music in the back, that's pretty nice. I'm pretty even Steam right now, pretty much, except for like a 26% difference away. I get the KO, I get the second KO. The third KO, actually, because it's KO in the second. Get me second. There yeah, I'm not making, I'm not coming from that. We use Steven now. So, it all comes down to this. They gave me that as my first giant girl moment, but uh, the time when we were doing New Super we, you know, uh, Sam, Matt, and Gus, and I, we were doing, uh, you know, New Super Mario Bros. back in 2011-2012, and we were facing the final Bowser Castle in World 8, and we, and we went with a star and a, and a fly fly, I think. I don't know if star fly is in for sure, but uh, we... Uh, the only one who made past the first jump was Sam, and all of us just ran the rest of the into the lava. The thing was, I was in the very back, so like my jump was like cut off because like I wasn't, I didn't screw up enough, so I obviously fell in the lava and died. Um, you know, characters did at least, <laughs> but um, sucks. Okay, but um, I was like, wow, wow, we didn't make past the first jump. That was pretty funny. That's was, that was the first giant girl moment I believe on the channel. That was fun. We, we got beaten by Lucario, which kind of sucks. But that, that was a funny moment. I think Matt suggested it on purpose to fall into the lava. I tried jumping over the, the lava, but it didn't work out. Again, because I was last in the line, and I they, they kind of messed my jump up because I didn't screw up far enough. But that's my fault. Let's do random battle stage now. I'll do random this time. Got a random there, got nice. 
So now I'm 0 for 1 right now against Pokemon Trainer, of course. I'm Daisy. Ivy's away. I hate fainting Ivy's away because I love Ivy's away. By the time this is, the video is actually up, for, I'm gonna guess it's gonna go up around April 30th, April 31st. There's 31 days in April. But uh, uh, if you watch this now, you probably may have seen the Mario movie by now. But recording wise, it's not out yet because I'm recording this on the 24th of March. So if my, if my, if my, you know, calculations are correct, uh, hopefully by now, by the time you see this, I have also seen the Mario movie. Hopefully. And I really want to see it with my friends, you know, Sam, Matt, Gus, and Michael, too. Um, but we're kind of all interested in seeing it, but um, because of COVID and all that stuff, and who it is, um, it might not be the right time, but hopefully we do get to see it. Uh, yeah. I just need approval for my... I wasn't paying attention. I just need to see... I just need approval for my mom, because I want to make sure she's okay with it. So, yeah. I'm hoping... I mean, I'm so hyped for it because, like, I always thought this that the uh, parasol went the wrong way. It sucks. Sometimes it does that with Peach and Daisy. The parasol like, opens up the wrong way and you can't grab the ledge. She went on because you did it backwards. And now no one's stuck. But, um, as I was saying, uh, I really do want to see it with my friends. It'll be fun. Uh, I, I think people are saying it's going to get, like, 100 million at the box office or something like that. Which is really possible because... It's a popular movie. I mean, I'm excited to see Jack Black as Bowser. Uh, I have mixed feelings about Chris Pratt being Mario, but you know, that's okay. I want to give him a shot. You know, I'm not going to just not, not disapprove of it right away. I want to see what he does with it, with the role. But, uh, I don't know. It's just, it seems like a fun movie. Like, I think the last Mario movie I got was in 1993, which is the live action one. Which didn't really get that. It's hated on a lot. I think it was okay, but well, it wasn't my favorite movie, obviously. But I, I want to give this one a shot. You know, Chris Pratt. I think he can do well within this movie. You know, he's he worked hard on it probably. So I want to give him a shot though. He's, you know, not count, not count on it just yet. But, uh, I don't know. It's just, I want to give him a shot. You know, he does have a shot, you know. The thing with me is he's like, I, I'm pretty sure he's anti-gay and stuff. And that's not always, that's not always, um, the best. But I'll still give him a shot, I guess. You know, it deserves a shot. And I'm 0 for 2 now, apparently, so that kind of sucks. I think the last movie I saw in theaters was um, Dune. With a... It started like Zendaya and a couple other people. But Zendaya is like the only character actor I know. Who was in that movie off the top of my head. But Dune was pretty fun. I liked it. I didn't even need the books or anything, but it was... It, Pretty sure everybody's have books or something, but I don't read any of the books, but I should because it looks like a graphic novel. You know, you know, when it comes to reading, I read graphic novels and whatever school is assigned to me for read books. Like, if I have to read Catcher in the Rye, which I did, I'll read it. If I have to read, um, let me see some character I'll be, uh, I'll be Wolf. Yeah. But if I have to read, uh, The Odyssey, well, we kind of read a little bit of The Odyssey and all of that, I guess. Which the movie. Um, I have to read To Kill a Mockingbird, I'll read it. I have to read, uh, Both of Thunder Human Cry, I'll read it. Um, what other ones are there? Um, um, there's this one graphic novel I actually read in my sophomore year of high school, I forget the name of it. Yeah, I probably won't put it on screen because I don't remember it. There was a graphic novel about this, um, this, uh, this girl who was going through some stuff and, uh, she, I think it had to do with, like, um, had to do with certain things, I guess. I can't remember the name of the book. It kind of sucks. But, uh, I don't know. I'll have to see. See, I just, I just read graphic novels and whatever I'm assigned to reading in in school. Uh, so I, I read The Landslide, which was a, one of my history class teachers, one of my history classes in a college, community college. Um, what else did I read? I read textbooks, of course, because that's also unfortunate. Um, the Grove, I think, or, um... I, oh, The Kite Runner. The Kite Runner was also in high school. I read The Kite Runner. And it was a really good book. I really liked it. They, had, they made a movie on it and everything. It's so cool. That was a good book. The Kite Runner was a really good book. I recommend it to anyone who wants to read anything like a novel or something. Or just a, 
like, ah, that sucks. Um, what else did I read? Um, uh, let's see here. The disappearing spoon, I remember that. That's, I read the spring spoon as a sophomore year in high school. Or as a sophomore in high school. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna take a drink of water real quick. Okay, yeah. I'm starting to drink more water when I'm recording videos because my mouth gets so dry and my commentary gets really bad if my mouth is dry. I actually got a YouTube comment, um, well, I think like two, three, two days ago saying I need to speak clear and stuff. I just find like I mumble and stuff and, uh, sorry for that. And I record in the mornings because I don't come, uh, during the day I can only record in the mornings because the rest of the day I'm either doing stuff with my mom or stepfather. And, uh, it's just that we watch a lot of YouTube we have our regulars, like, you know, we watch, shout out to these uh, YouTubers here. We watch, um, which Cash Cash Jordan, who is um, he's uh from dang it, he's uh from I'm zero for three now. Shoot, <laughs> but um, he does. He's like a realtor, and he goes to New York City to in these apartments, and then outside, what the apartments have like restaurants and stuff. Uh, we watch uh, Joel Wood, who's a British YouTuber. He does vlogs and stuff. He's from the UK. We watch those two Brits, also formerly known as Joel and Leah. Uh, as in Joel, and then uh, Wood, and as Leah H. I can't pronounce his last name. Um, we watch the Deal Guy, which gives us deals on like Dollar Tree and Costco and Sam's Club and all that, and deals on other stuff like Amazon. What else do we watch? Um, we watch North and South. So they're like a family uh, vlogging channel. Uh, we watch Paul from Tokyo. We watch Rusty Judgment. Paul from Tokyo is really cool. He has so many good connections. Yeah, the guy's crazy you know, in a good way, but like, he's, he's also very popular. He's like, not that he's crazy, he's just like, he knows what to do, and he, his content's really, really polished, I should say. Because he just has all these connections, like when he does like, life, day in life of so-and-so, or behind the counter of a restaurant, such a restaurant. It's just crazy, he's just amazing, I think. He has over 3 million subscribers, I know, or as I know. Uh, who else we watch? We watch, we watch The Minimal Mom because uh, she gives tips on how to be minimalist and stuff and organize her stuff, which is kind of good. She knows what she's talking about, so that's good. And she, that's really great, actually, because she turns it into like a kind of old business, if you think about it, with making YouTube videos. Who else do we watch? Let's start with, um, let's do this one, Go to Valley, whatever it's called. Who else do we watch? I think there's a few others, um, but that's up top of my head. Um, you, you, New, your New Zealand family. Watch, uh, watch a lot actually. Well, not a lot, but just like regulars, like regular 10 YouTubers. I'll be Toon Link, I guess. I'm video for three, that's the last thing, so I have to pay attention to this one because I've just been talking. We watch Emma Cruz too. My mom's so fond of Emma Cruz. She does like Cruz videos and uh, she does a cute. This she does live streams even like almost every Friday, I believe. So she talks about like Cruz and stuff. Which I I'd, 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 like I would wanna uh, you know try to go on a cruise. I guess I'm kind of scared because you know I'm afraid of water and I can't swim. Uh, yeah, pretty much both those reasons. I'm afraid of water and I can't swim. But I'd give it a shot, you know. What the. I mean, I think some of them are reasonably priced, so that's good to know. We just kick him up right now. But, um, yeah, it's pretty fun. So, like, the really only time I can record in the morning is in the mornings because, like, my parents are still sleeping. Uh, I, I, I'm upstairs, they're downstairs, so, like, I don't wake them up, which is good. Being upstairs. And I have the volume on the TV that I have. My volume on the TV is right now is 3 to 5, I think. And that sort of thing. I don't know. They didn't that far off. So in the mornings, I'm, I'm really tired. And uh, what helps me wake up is I'm, I'm, allowed, to, I'm allowed to drink one 12 ounce frozen latte coffee from Dollar Tree. You know, $1.25 per can nowadays because it used to be a dollar. Now it's $1.25 at Dollar Tree. So that helps me wake me up. Um, so I'm not as tired, I guess. Oh my god, ah, shoot, that's stupid. I didn't mean to use a boomerang. I 
you just get him at once. She talks just like me, that'd be great. There we go, I turned that way, awesome. Where's even Steven almost? Almost died there again, shoot, <laughs> okay. I don't know, um, I don't get many YouTube comments, but I'll just say, um, is there any YouTubers you guys watch, you know, on a regular basis that like, you subscribe to and watch the content? Because I'd love to know in the comments if you could you want to leave a comment, that's great. But you don't have to leave a comment if you don't want to. I don't have to force you guys to, be, to leave comments. Like, the only, really, for my comments, I get, um, one, like, every six months, honestly. Which I'm okay with, um, I, I'm glad I don't get hate comments anymore. It's been years, like, ten plus years since I've got hate comments. Um, so yeah. But the only comments I leave in my comment section are my pinned comments. they like, oh, so-and-so about the video, and then enjoy the video. That's why I a pin comment by me. So I don't get many YouTube comments, but that's okay. I mean, like, I go by YouTube about how many views you get, not how many subscribers or comments you get, honestly. Um, but that's just me. I just go by how many uh, views you get. Because I obviously surpassed 1.2 million comments total. For, if you put all my comments to, not, 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 not comments, but views, if you put all my views together, um, you'll see I got 1.2, over 1.2 million comments. Views, 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 not comments. Jeez, why can't saying that? So yeah, that's pretty cool. I can win this one, that'd be great. Shoot. I can just win against this view. I have an advantage right now. There we go, awesome. I'm 153. As far as I know. Let me take a let me take another drink of water. Let's do random Omega. Let's see, let's do a uh, Krom, I guess. Now I'll do Roy next after that. Always my boy. Snake. Wow, that sucks. I have the bad I just. Because well, his recovery is just up, it's somewhat Ike since she's going up vertically. It has a good vertical, but nothing horizontal. But it's recovery. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's so bad. At least it's just a little max is like kind of angled a little bit. Even though it doesn't get much vertical, but still. Okay, Snake. That's cool. You just a bit jerk, don't you? It's going hard. He's going hard. He keeps on hitting me. There we go. No! Oh. Okay, I made the <laughs> I grabbed the ledge this time. Dang it. I don't want Snake to three stock me. Gosh dang it, he's going hard. Oh, I saw three stock me now. If I can get a good amount of damage on him before he kills me, that can get another one stock. But so far, I'm not going so well. That sucks, I totally just self-destructed basically. So now I'm 1 for 4 I believe. Which is fun, I don't really have to win the next 3 I get back to 500 which kinda sucks. We're going next.
New Shoes Island, I guess, yeah. I like how I need it uh, in a uh, green, honestly, it looks really nice. Looks pretty handsome. Three, two, Again, Sonic, of course. The music in the background is awesome. I like the song. Do, 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 do. It's instrumental. Well, it's instrumental. Okay, Sonic. I call his damage to me, shoot. There we go. Hit me. I can't make it back. Sorry, Sonic. You think he's shielded there, Sonic? Tried to DI there, directional influence, but didn't work. No, now I'm 2 for 4, I believe. Awesome. 2 for 4. So is this even a for Fox, or whatever it's called? For Fox. I'll leave it there. Leave it right there. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. Indeed. Look at the victor the size of the DDD. King DDD, huh? Okay, King DDD. Okay. Okay, that's enough. I don't play Zerky that much because... I don't know, it's just because he's not really one of my mains, so, so I don't play, play this with him that often. But he's starting to kick my... But he needed to be starting to kick my butt. Are you kidding me? Oh, can we get that back up to that? Oh man, this sucks. I just don't do stuck right now. We're so stuck at him.
Judge Cam. Giant Edge Guard so you can easily kill him. Kill him. Ah, oh, shoot, he jumped at the last second. Ah. What goes my plan? Ah, oh, man. I put, up, I put up kind of a good fight, though. Let's do two more. We're gonna end with to do random Omega. Now oh, it'll be a random character, just like the computer player. That'd be pretty cool. I guess it's good customer mic. So yeah, it's even them. What did I get? Let's see. We got the corn, okay. Corn versus cloud. This is pile of wings, I'm sure. I, I think I'm sure. But yeah. Got this. Sure, I'll cancel there. Don't kill me if you're stuck here. Less coin that much, as you can see. Well, I'm winning right now, so that's good. I got no 23% for that KO. Well, I get KO because they stack them, maybe, maybe not. Shoot, can't three stack them now. Still on the same. So close to being it. Okay, one. So now we're three for four, right? Something like that. Three for four. This video. You're calling one. Final destination time. I will be... Where's the other suit, Samus? I think the original light blue is good. Yeah, I can. Two food Samus versus... We get an MNA, okay. Wow, he's going in hard already, huh? Okay, Mad Knight. I'm doing well right now. 
Hopefully I don't jinx myself. Shoot, I can't even come from that, jeez. If I can get one more queen off, that'd be great. No, I can't. Oh, you saved me, didn't you? Save me again, save me again. No. You know, save me as soon as the cover kind of sucks, to be honest. That one really sucked me. Because he attacked me because it's so destructive, of course. I oh, mean, too cool, I guess. Not really. Okay, so this has been my Super Smash Bros. Ultimate vs. Battles video. In the next video, I'll take more Super Smash Ultimate vs. Battles. This is to see this has been a good game. I'm looking forward to you guys. And I'll see you guys next time uh, in my, in my next uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate vs. Battles video.